Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is a kind of spontaneous video idea I had. I thought I would shoot it today for you guys. So you guys have a video to watch this week. I didn't get to go skate this week because I've been super busy. Plus the weather's been really hot. It's been like 45 degrees. It's either been like stinking hot or it's been raining and windy. So there's no in between in Australia. There really isn't. I threw together this video right now for you guys. Just talking about how skateboarding can be made a bit cheaper because I know skateboarding can be very expensive. If you're anything like me, I buy a new deck and a new pair of shoes almost every month. A pro board in Australia will run from between 100 to $140. A pair of decent skate shoes are gonna run you about the same. It's about 200, $240, $250 a month. Times that by 12, um, that's like nearly three grand. It's $2,800 a year just to ride a skateboard. But yeah, skateboarding doesn't necessarily have to be that expensive. Like for me, I buy a new board and new shoes every month because I just want everything to feel fresh and make skateboarding easier for me. I know what I like. I've been skating long enough now to kind of figure out what works and what doesn't work for me. This is just a rough guide. Take what you will from it. If you find any tips helpful in this video, make sure you drop a comment below. And tell me which ones you thought helped you out the most. But yeah, I'm gonna start off with where to buy cheap decks from. Not everyone has the money every month to buy a brand new board, especially if you're younger. Say if you're in your teen years, like 16, 17, 18, 19, and you're not really working that much, you don't have a job or whatever. And as I said, spending like $250 a month on skateboarding can get expensive. So I'm gonna start off with where to get cheap decks from. So you don't necessarily have to get a brand new board. Facebook Marketplace is awesome because you can search like skateboards and gonna be some middle-aged dude on there that's like, bought a complete setup, like a top of the line setup, independent trucks, bones wheels or Spitfires, bones bearings, pro board like a Baker or a Death Wish or something. He would have bought that setup like maybe a month, two months ago, rode it a couple of times, um, figured skateboarding isn't for him or whatever, put it up on Facebook Marketplace and usually they're asking for a complete board, they're asking like 150 bucks compared to buying a whole new complete in the store. Buying a complete board like trucks, wheels, bearings, the deck, grip tape, hardware, everything. It's gonna run you like at least $280, $300 in Australia. So if you can manage to find a decent secondhand setup off Facebook Marketplace, you're cheering because nine times out of 10, they're gonna have decent parts on them like Independence or Thunders. And generally the boards are gonna be pretty brand new because they haven't been skated that much. If you're able to snag one of those deals, I would jump on it. The second place where you're gonna be able to get a cheap deck from is usually skate shops, like independent owned skate shops. They're gonna have all the boards on the wall and then they're usually gonna have like a bin or a basket that has all the sail boards in it, which are the boards that haven't sold. Depending on what size you ride, some sizes are more easier to find in these bargain bins. Like the last deck I bought was a hockey deck and I bought it from Fast Times at Miranda. It was in the sail bin. I got it for I got it for hundred bucks, which is pretty decent for a pro board. There's a bunch of other boards in there. There was like Passport, I've seen a few Passport boards in there, but those boards can go from anywhere from $60 to 100. Say if you ride like a 825 or something, that's a pretty common size. You'll have to kind of be quick on those bargains because they go quite fast. If you're at the skate shop and then there is a bargain bin and you can just say to the person working like, yo, how often does the bin get restocked or is it kind of every week, every few weeks? They're usually gonna be able to tell you how long the turnaround is because they're gonna have all the wall boards, sell out of them, which ones don't sell, they're probably gonna put in a bargain bin for cheaper to, to move a bit quicker so they can buy a new stock. So they're the two places you can get cheap decks from. You can get a deck off Facebook Marketplace and the sale bin at the skate shop. The third way to get a cheap deck, you can still cop a decent deck this way, but eight times out of 10, they're gonna be pretty thrashed. Like I know some skate shops, I've seen it more commonly in America. When someone comes in and buys a new deck, they'll leave their old deck at the shop. So sometimes skate shops will have like a stack of old boards that they keep there for people. So you might be able to come up on a board. It could be thrashed, it could not be thrashed, it could be in decent condition. It just it just depends really. Another way to get a secondhand deck that's pretty decent is like, if you're skating your local park and you see one of the homies come in and he has a new deck, you can just say like, oh hey, what are you doing with your old deck? Like, do you mind if I have it? I've done this multiple times. Kids have asked me like, oh, can I have your old deck when you get a new one? I'm like, yeah, sweet, it's all yours. That's another way you can cop a secondhand deck or a decent deck is if one of your homies is setting up a new board and you can just say like, oh yo, do you mind if I have your old deck after you're done with it? So, worst I can say is no. All right, so moving on from decks, let's move on to shoes. 
Shoes, skate shoes are quite expensive too because like they're obviously made a bit tougher depending on what brand it is. They're gonna have a better insole for skating so you don't bruise your heel as much. What I've found myself is I'll hit up like Facebook Marketplace again. People are selling shoes that don't fit them. People have bought shoes online, they don't fit and they've thrown their receipt out or whatever. So they're trying to sell these shoes and they sell them for quite cheap. I mean, I found a pair of old school Vans and old school Vans in Australia run for 110. They were like, pretty used and they were like 40 bucks but I mean you're only going to skate in them anyway you can just like buy them throw them in the washing machine hang them out to dry chuck them on and then skate them like and you've spent $40 you haven't spent $110 on skate shoes another way to find cheap shoes is to go to outlets so we have like a Vans outlet here and we have a Converse outlet here Usually Vans will put on deals, so it'll be like, they'll have some pro shoes for like 60 bucks, 70 bucks, or they'll have like a two for one deal. I did notice last time I was at the Vans outlet, they had all these boxes of samples and they were all sample shoes. They were 50 bucks a pair. So these sample shoes obviously aren't like, they're samples, so they Vans make these shoes as like a, like a prototype, I guess. You're only spending $50 to ruin your shoes in a month and then you're gonna be up for another pair, so I don't know. Another way to get cheap shoes this is more for you Americans watching, is hit the thrift store. Like, when I was over there, we hit a bunch of thrift stores. Um, actually come up on a decent pair of Converse. I got these, these were, um, well they were labeled for like 18 bucks, but I switched the tag, so I got them for seven. But that's a little secret. But they didn't look like this when I bought them. They were covered in like mud and like dirt. They were filthy, like it took me a few goes to get them looking this clean. These are the ones with the Lunalon sole, so these are before they did Converse Cons, I'm pretty sure, so it's an older Converse, but like $7. You can't really complain. I know they were filthy when I bought them, but I cleaned them up. I probably won't skate these though, but like, I just wanted to show you guys that you can find cheap shoes in the thrift that you can skate. And like I said, you're not spending 80, 100, $120 on pairs of shoes that you're gonna thrash. Like I could legit just have bought these for seven bucks, clean them up, and then thrash them and they'll be ruined in a month but I kind of want to hang on to these because um, <clears throat> kind of needed a set of all, all white high top chucks in my wardrobe so yeah also another one for you Americans another way to find cheap shoes is hit Ross you just have that sick store over there Ross dress for less last time the second last time I was in the States I got a pair of these huffs and they were from memory, they were $20. And Huff don't make shoes anymore, so I grabbed them. But yeah, you can hit Ross, have a look. You might be able to find like a pair of Nike SBs. I had to buy these, obviously, because Huff don't make shoes anymore. I'm not gonna skate them either. I'm just gonna have them in my wardrobe. These are gonna become rarer and rarer as time goes on. Copped a pair of Huffs for 20 bucks. These run in Australia for like 120. One more thing, guys, is your skate shoes don't necessarily have to be skate shoes. I know a lot of brands have the regular version of the shoe and then they have the Pro or the skate version of the shoe. Vans do this with the Vans and the Vans Pro. Converse do this with the Converse, the Converse Cons. And I think Adidas also do this. They have like the normal range and then they have like the Adidas skate range. Same with Nike, they have the normal Nikes and then they have the skate Nikes. But yeah, I got these normal Chuck Taylors. They're just the canvas style. They don't have the Lunalon sole, they're the normal sole. As you can see, these shoes have taken quite a beating already. I got another two, three weeks out of these shoes and then they're done. I'm gonna throw them in the bin. I'm gonna to talk to you guys real quickly about how you can make your shoes last longer. So you've gone to, you've gone to the outlet or you've gone to Facebook Marketplace um, and you found a pair of cheap shoes. They don't necessarily need to be the skate ones. They don't need to be the pros or the cons. These aren't the cons. Shout out to the guy that commented on my one of my last videos about this glue. This glue right here is probably the best glue that I've ever used for shoes. I mean, it works so much better than just normal shoe glue or like super glue. I don't know if you guys can see, but it kind of bonds differently. So it bonds a lot smoother and it doesn't really abrase that much. So you can skate and it'll still be quite smooth. You can see right here where I've super glued it. It's a bit rough from skating it. You're gonna be able to get a decent amount of skates out of this glue. Like I said, guys, these aren't the these aren't the con these aren't the converse cons. These are just normal Chuck Taylors. I just glued them up and I'm just skating them for what they are. These are decent and you can Find a second-hand pair of these on Facebook Marketplace for like 40 bucks sometimes. It just depends on your luck, really, and what shoe size you are as well. My other camera died, so I'm back on the G7X right now. Yeah, moving on. 
I've told you guys where to cop cheap boards from, sale bins, Facebook marketplace, hand-me-downs, told you guys where to get cheap shoes from, sales at outlets, sales at skate shops, Facebook marketplace again. The third thing I'm going to talk about right now is like clothes to wear skating. Now as you know skateboarding, you get dirty, you get filthy, like you're sweating, you're falling over in the dirt, you're grazing yourself up, you're bleeding on your clothes, you're falling over onto like old ledges of like wax from like 10 years ago and it's filthy. Skateboarding is gross. I'm going to talk to you guys about where to get cheap clothes from for skateboarding. Now if you're fortunate enough to live in the United States, there's a whole bunch of thrift stores, you have Sabres, you have Goodwill. Most of my clothes, my dickies, I've copped in thrift stores over there at Sabres and they've been like four bucks five bucks. I bought one pair of Dickies in Australia and they cost me $79. Yes, that's correct. They cost me 79 big ones for a pair of Dickies. So if you're lucky enough to live in the States, you can hit a thrift. You can pick up a cheap pair of Dickies, some baggy denim jeans to skate in. Same with t-shirts. Like you can hit the thrift. I found sick shirts in the thrift. Like four dollars three dollars sometimes. Go down to your local thrift with like I don't know maybe 15 20 bucks cop an outfit to skate in, maybe cop a couple outfits. I did have a video on a $19 skate outfit. I'll leave the link in the, the uh, description below. You can go and check it out. Just to give you guys an example, like I went and bought a pair of shoes, a pair of dickies and a t-shirt. That's a whole outfit and it was like 20 bucks. If you live in Australia, it's going to be a bit more difficult to find cheaper clothes to skate in. Kmart still exists in Australia and it's pretty good. They have pairs of cargo pants for I think $25. Just your standard cotton cargo pants with the belt loops and then the pockets on the sides. For Dickies, it's going to be expensive to buy Dickies brand new, but you could probably buy a second hand pair of Dickies off Facebook Marketplace again or Depop. Another spot you can cop kind of cheaper pants for is Rivers. We have this shop called Rivers out here. It's probably comparable to Old Navy in the States. Kind of similar, like dads go there and buy clothes. I've bought a pair of jeans from there, blue denim jeans to skate in. I think they were like 20 bucks, but they have pairs of like straight leg pants. You can just roll the cuffs up and they probably won't last as well as Dickies, but this is the aesthetic, I guess. Just trying to get like some cheap clothes to skate in. You can go to Kmart. They have blank shirts for like eight bucks. You can buy a blank black or white t-shirt skate in it a few times, thrash it. If you can wash it and it's still good, sweet. If you can't, just chuck it in the bin. It was eight bucks, you're not really losing there. If you guys found anything in this video helpful at all, drop me a comment in the comment section below. If you have any tips on where to get cheap skateboards or decks or clothes from, let me know in the comment section below. I'm really keen to find out any other tips you guys might have that I might not know of. If you like my content and you've been following my channel for a bit, make sure you head on over to Evening Mob, cop a shirt, Support your boy. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Shouts out to all the new subscribers, like I said. If you like this video, drop me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.